commencing. I will not fail. There you are again, my dear. Pity to have only met in circumstances such as these. Yet families all go through their ups and downs, yes? Let me help you help us all. Mighty Uncle Zeus, vanquisher of titans. Your strength has saved our family before. You're most kind to now share some of it with me. It's hardly seemed the time to make me offerings. All the more reason I appreciate the gesture, niece. And per the custom of our family, I've prepared something for you in turn. You are most generous, Lord Uncle. Your commitment to this task of yours is greater than I had surmised. My offspring can be easily discouraged. I'm pleased to see my older brother's offspring isn't thus. Got here as quickly as I could. The hunter's mark again. Guide us and all. And our aim be true. It's really true about the fates that Kronos somehow got to them. Doesn't want to take any chances anymore. Did the fates prophesize their own captivity? How can you be so casual about this? If the fates themselves couldn't stop Kronos, we won't have an easy time. We're beholden to chance ourselves. So what if we are? You know, not even I always hit my mark. What do I do if I miss? I take another shot. The greater the skill, the less is up to chance. Then it's yours. Good hunting. Farewell. Withstood that chaos curse I had. So soft, divine. I spin my threads and catch whatever comes. Got some cocoons for you. Death to Kronos. No need to be so formal here. So then the gods above are helping you, aren't they? Though why do I even ask? I already know. I've seen these woods light up with all their multicolored messages. It's true. Olympus and I share a common goal. For the Titan of Time threatens us all. I should have told you, it's just... I didn't know what to say. <laughs> so the fates got me again. I may be a better weaver than all the gods combined, but those three beat me every time. Though don't worry, I won't turn my abdomen on you, even if the gods will benefit. It's all yours. Everything 
I said about your weapon first we met? In my defense, I know for the workmanship superior to mine. Though, don't go telling anyone I said as much. Ready. What's that you're brandishing? Ah, oh, the nocturnal arms begin to show their myriad colors. The silver, you well know, is but one. Each of the aspects of the arms of night represents a bearer from another time. I'm still learning the full extent of what they can do. And I suspect you shall continue doing so. If nothing else, this ought to make things further interesting here for the both of us. strong, although we've an eternity to hone our craft. Thank you, Headmistress. Kronos. Returned, have you? My dear son Zeus is already abetting you this night. I fear not his famous Thunderbolt, young fool that he is. Cellini. I never feel lost knowing the moon herself is there to help me find my path. You are most kind to honor me this way. It doubtless shall sustain my steeds and me on long nights such as these. You have our thanks. Salutations. Darkness guide you. I call upon the moon and draw you down. The Titan Kronos. He is time itself. Thus, by his nature, we can never be entirely prepared for him. He seeks the downfall of Olympus. But how, exactly, we still do not know. The choice is yours, Wolf Howl. You have it. should be resting easy in your father's care, but grab, shut it all down, flung open the underworld's gates, and here we are. If I were dead, I'd be mad too. Really now? God. We have a long-standing partnership with your good boatman there. I bring mortals into being and marry them off after a bit. And he takes them yonder to your realm. Or used to, anyway. sailed far from your usual course, Boatman. Not solely on my account, I trust. Your generous aid is much appreciated, Lord. Until we meet again. You again. Now, lady, let the music fill your soul. And the brine fill your lungs. We are Skilla and the Cyber! The hunt begins. And caught. I caught a Marty. I prevailed. Aren't you a welcome sight? I know you didn't always speak this way, without the full use of your voice. But you possess such strength despite the change. My words, perhaps, but the intent is yours. My words, but the intent is yours. My words.
darkest reaches of the earth, where once Grim Lord Hades reigned, now twists the edifices of the Titan Kronos, who made this former tomb of his his home. I can't believe that this is Tartarus. Such an infernal racket around here. Ah, granddaughter, how kind of you to visit us again. I'm home. A visitor at this hour? You have considerable power over time. Bet you can turn some of my innate power against me. Perhaps your knack for this is merely a recessive family trait. Don't insult me and don't fool yourself. When you took my family, you created in me a lifelong desire to see you destroyed. So I simply prepared. A lifelong desire. Your life, girl, is but a blink of an eye to me. No one achieves abilities as yours through force of will alone. Though you are no mere god, you are a witch. Grow quite weary of this dour place. This ends now. Hmm. You know, some of these fated prophecies are rather substantial. I shudder to think what might be on a list of major prophecies. I trust this doesn't make you feel as though your service hasn't been of value. Because certainly it has. However, the prophecies listed there are indeed minor in the grand scheme of things. The grand scheme of things? As in all existence, the unfathomable past, a noble future, that sort of grandeur you mean? Yes. The fates preside over the smallest minutia and the greatest of patterns. So don't take the idea of minor prophecies the wrong way. A small ripple can become a great wave. Now you sound like Poseidon. Interesting. Your understanding of Discura knows no bounds. My brother Charon is committed to this realm. Cheers, Mixer. It's a pity we've so little opportunity to speak, Lord Charon. Though I'm grateful to be seeing you more frequently of late. Something for me? It's all here. Shadows. You have gone far, Melenoi, and you bested me. Gave me quite a scrape at that. There is much left to be done. But you are learning. Thank you, Headmistress. Although I know that I could not have bested you had you held nothing back. You know? Why do you self-impose such limits on your capability? Alter your thoughts. I shall see you again out there. Yes, Headmistress. Been meaning to try this. My path is set. What else? Record Keeper, pleased to have you here. I once was desperate to hear the siren's song. I barely resisted their temptations. Of course, I was merely mortal. Perhaps you're less susceptible to their allure. Perhaps. At any rate, I fail to see the appeal. Although, it's possible the Sirens were better off without Skilla. She seems rather bossy. Oh, she's a menace. Caught half a dozen of my crew like she'd a separate set of teeth for each of the poor lads. 
We'd little choice but to pray to the gods and sail on. Tell her hello for me. Did the gods answer your call, at least? Uh, for the most part. Full grown. Here you'll grow strong. What you said to me before, about my mother, that was very cruel. Hmm, fair enough. Can't kill each other here, but we can use our words. If we were fighting for real, I wouldn't have held back either. I figured not. You trying to get me in trouble with the headmistress or something? Why don't you take your bottle before I smash it and get your scrawny ass out of here? I wasn't trying to get you in trouble, Nem. I was just... You know what? Forget it. Just thinking nothing clears the mind like a refreshing, burning hot soak. Care to accompany me? Look, I do love a good hot bath, even whilst dead. And I'm not one to say no to goddesses, so... Um... Why not? are properly averted goddess that i swear would mortals often bathe odysseus oh um well most of them would bathe from time to time though seldomly together like this men with women it could be untoward i see we gods have no such shame i realize have i made you uncomfortable me? No, 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 goddess, of course not, no. In fact, I've bathed with goddesses before, it's just... It's been a little while. Well, as long as it's agreeable for you. It is. Agreeable, it is. Well... Don't know about you, but I am properly relaxed, I'd say. Come along. Drink of the earth. that can help. As ancient chaos beckoned me to say, Awake, O monument of night, I shall obey. There. it be. With this stardust, I could form an immutable bond with a beast that has affinity for me. Power to create. This'll take a little while. Possibilities. So, Chaos must have a greater plan for you.
So ancient is the pitch black stone, it predates time itself. Its surface ever seems to drain what light and color dare linger nearby. I can see beneath that surface now. I see what needs to be done. I feel unstoppable. Our trial thus begins, O Spawn of Hades. Headmistress, guide me. Your usage of the pitch black standing stone enables me to temporarily emerge from my abyss, and I thank you for that. I can observe more clearly both the outcome of your trial and all else. Crossroads recently and realized it was the pitch black stone. So then it has awakened, almost like an eye itself, but far older than mine, and peering from the infinite abyss. Behold, Night Bloom. It's clear again. Was settled. Cousin Apollo, I am grateful for all your warmth, benevolence, and aid. Please, accept this gift. They're not fine for me. What a delightful surprise. And I haven't had a lot of those of late. Know what? I have something for you too. Thank you for this, cousin. I like being the god of many things. There's light and poetry, music, healing. So many passions and all the time in the world. Why settle for just blacksmithing or what have you? It's reassuring to know Artemis has been keeping track of things around here lately, my lord. She seems unusually well supplied as well. Oh, I won't tell a soul. This should help. You have a real understanding with that boatman, haven't you? He's such a solitary soul. Rugged, tall, powerfully built. Hmm. The boatman Charon, one time steward of the dead, now sculls the rivers of the underworld in aid of those who yet resist the Titan Lord. What would we do without him? Arachne's handiwork. Is that you, Arachne? No, I'm cursed. Special delivery. Don't heck a while, and don't empty either one of you. She couldn't just send you off to deal with Gramps before you were ready. You must have hated having to wait. I know I do. May I? So it was Artemis who sniffed you out, was it? Seems like an awful big coincidence. But then with gods, these things, they happen all the time. I'll say I'm glad she found you when she did. There you are. You've a particular objective to achieve here, haven't you? Seen what must be done within the facets of the pitch black stone. A trial on top of a trial. This is one of the infinite possibilities that Chaos anticipated. I chose this path, but it was already there for me to find. It's very much disquieting to know the choices that we make might all be preordained to some extent. Nevertheless, Knight's will is to be done.
is enough. Well fought. And may the fates be generous to you in your descent. Return to shadow now. Victory. Return to shadow now. Trial check. These chaos trials, we're not changing reality too much, are we, Freynos? What's going on? Hey, what happened? You look weird or something. I don't know. We're not too long. Took someone to the woods. No, Dora, though I don't think I can sufficiently explain. You know the pitch black stone? Turns out it can do things. The purple rock can do things, you say. You know what? I don't even want to know the rest. Just gonna let my imagination take over for you, thanks. Any time? Let me see. Hmm. <laughs> what are you looking at? I don't get you people, honestly. So set on making things the way they used to be. You, especially. You don't even know what you're missing. We're trying to set things right, not make them how they used to be. Though, what's your point, Aris? What's my point? What's your point? All of you are so obsessed with there being a point to everything. You do know there isn't one, don't you? Can't just let loose and have a good time? Not under the present circumstances, no. Hail Strife. Same to you. Looks like Eris is back. You fought well. That pitch black stone in our training grounds. I've sensed it ever since your incantation. The subtle influence of chaos on this realm. Our goals are intertwined. When I gaze upon the stone, I begin to see different paths and possibilities in every facet, some leading closer to our victory. Those paths and possibilities are real, like as not, as are the splendors that await should you indulge our primordial benefactor. There always is uncertainty where chaos is concerned. Yet I trust that Nix's parent is an ally, not a threat. I trust so too. Smells delicious. I have an idea. Power to create. It'll be worth the wait. Art must be needed elsewhere. Live and thrive. Yeah, what? Don't worry, you didn't miss much while you were out. A lot of standing around, chanting prayers for your victory and protection. How'd those work out for you, by the way? Fine, thanks. And your own lack of support is a more significant motivator than you realize. You know all about lack of support. Death to Kronos? Ugh. Good evening, Mixer. Once there was an administrative chamber in the underworld, where Shades kept careful track of each detail, a trade a few such souls as yet pursue. Surely such efforts were rewarded handsomely. Best to keep track of each detail. 